Zealand Cricket on Tuesday confirmed that the England and Wales Cricket Board has received a threatening email related to NZC, although this did not specifically reference the New Zealand women's cricket team. It was treated seriously, investigated and deemed not credible. The white phones have now arrived in Lazisa and, as a precaution, security around them has been boosted. Reports their training has been cancelled or false. NZC said in an official statement, they were not scheduled to train on Monday as it was travelling day. NZC will not be commenting further on the matter, it added. The third ODI of the series between England and New Zealand is now set to go ahead after a security threat was deemed by NZC to be not credible. As per ESPN Crick Info, a member of New Zealand team management was contacted and he was told that a bomb would be placed at the team hotel. The side was also warned of an attempt to place a bomb on their plane when they returned to New Zealand. As a result, the white phones went into lockdown on Monday. Last week, due to security reasons, the NZC had cancelled their park tour. NZC revealed that two of the Kiwi players had received death threats even before landing in Pakistan as part of their tour. The men and women teams thus cancelled their tour. The British authorities believed that the mail was sent by Pakistan as a protest against the cancellation of their tour. The withdrawal of both the teams has created a heavy financial burden on Pakistan and also the country claims that it also draws a bad reputation internationally. News Desk, Global.